Hi guys, I'm going to make a double DC switch using this servo, normal radio control servo, and a couple of two position switches, two position, normally open, normally closed, single pole changeover, various names they go by. I'm going to mount the two switches like that, and the servo is going to come up underneath where that mark is at the moment. And then as the servo moves side to side, it'll operate the switches. Well, that's the theory. It's not my idea. I've seen these switches before. In fact, I've seen people selling them on eBay handmade. The sort of thing you could make well with a 3D printer if you had one. But I'm just going to use a piece of plastic Corex, melt a hole through with my soldering iron, trim it up a bit, and probably super glue these in place for now just so I can check that it all works. That's the hole melted. That's a nice tight fit. I think I'll still super glue it in place to hold it still. That's the servo super glued in place. I'll put the uh, lever arm in place. So now we need to fit these. So I just try holding one in place and get an idea where it needs to be. probably shorten that servo arm. But I'll leave it like that for now. That's both of them glued in place. I'm using my little servo tester here to make them work. So now I'll wire them up to my uh, circuit board here that's expecting push buttons and see if it works. For those of you who haven't been following the series through, the reason I'm making this DC switch from my RC servo is so I can control a little control panel here that's normally push buttons on a toy tank. I've got six button positions. I'm only controlling two of them at the moment with this uh, remote controlled switch. I'm actually controlling the servo using my servo tester that's running off these batteries. Over here is there's a battery pack, a loudspeaker, and some LEDs that normally would be inside the tank. As I say, I'm only doing two of the facilities here, and I'll demonstrate them now. Make sure we can see the LEDs. Yeah. This one's the machine gun, and this one over here is the main tank uh, gun. So. our machine gun. Go the other way. And that's our main tank gun. Fire. 
So, that looks like that works. All I've got to do now is fit all that into the tank. And if I want to control the other switches, then I'll need to build some more of these. But I've only got a four channel transmitter and I already used two of the channels for the forwards, backwards and turning. So I'd need at least one more channel to be able to do all six options. Just a close-up of those switches. So the orange wire is common to both sides and then the white goes down to the control board. We've got a blue wire there to one of the normally open terminals and a yellow wire there to one of the normally open terminals. When we say normally open that means when the switch operates it closes. Okay, and then on the control board we've got the blue wire soldered to one of the push button pads, the yellow wire soldered to another push button pad and the white wire soldered to the common rail that goes across all of the pads. And that's it.